Hello, I'm Father Jim Bjorn, responsible for the parish of Our Lady of Hope in St. Clair Shores. As you know, we are committed to working hard to keep you in touch with us while some of you are still in your homes. It's been just over three months since the five parishes, Our Lady of Hope, St. Margaret of Scotland, St. Isaac Jogues, St. Pio, and Holy Innocent St. Barnabas became a family of parishes. We got off to a terrific start with the Family Mass for the 4th of July, which was hosted by Our Lady of Hope. This past week, we had our Family Mass for Labor Day, hosted at St. Isaac Jokes. The next civil holiday Mass will be next Memorial Day, Monday, May 29th, 2023, and it will be hosted at Holy Innocence. An important Mass for the family is coming on Sunday, October 23 at 2 p.m., hosted at St. Pio Parish. Bishop Robert Fisher, our regional bishop, will formally commission the priests in Solidum for our family and will welcome representatives of the five parishes. There will be a reception with light refreshments following the Mass. The Minister of Music at St. Pio, Debbie Silaga, will be working with the other four music ministers and other representatives of parishes to plan the commissioning Mass. That is one of the goals of creating the families getting the various ministries to work with each other. I am happy to report that the Religious Education Youth Faith Formation coordinators have already been meeting together and have planned a joint confirmation retreat for confirmation candidates from all five parishes to be held on Saturday, October 29th, conducted by NET, the new evangelization team. Those who are responsible for adult faith formation in the five parishes are going to meet over lunch at the workshop on the Order of Christian Initiation of Adults to discuss how they can coordinate adult offerings in the five parishes, maybe having a regular feature in all parish bulletins describing the opportunities that are available in our family. I had a meeting with the coordinator of Christian service at St. Pio, Tina Bullis, a couple of weeks ago. She wanted to discuss an idea she had for increasing awareness of a program for helping women, Walking with Moms, I believe it is called, in all the parishes of our family. I agreed that it was a good idea, but I said we really need to wait until I have the completed reports regarding staffing, business practices, and facilities before talking about specific programs. As I previously announced, Daniel Bryce, accepted the position of Interim Mission Support Director, and he is in the process of compiling those reports. He is also meeting with several moderators of Wave 1 families to gather some ideas of best practices as we move forward as a family. I hope this gives you an update on how we are progressing in creating a positive family of parishes. As I have said many times, we are a work in progress. It is going to take time to create the structures that will enable us to be a faith-filled, energized family. Help us name our family. Right now, our family is identified as family number one of the Surf Lycariot Northeast region. We would like you to suggest a more personalized name for our family. Please do not suggest a saint's name. We already have four parishes with saints' names. Here are a number of names that other families have chosen. Resurgit Generibus, it will rise from the ashes, the motto of the city of Detroit. One in the spirit, the merciful love of Jesus, disciples unleashed, the Emmaus family. I have also received a list of possible names based on Latin titles. Here are a few examples. Deus Caritas S, God is love. Lumen Fidei, light of faith. Evangelii Nunciandi, proclaiming the gospel. Soramus Meliora, we hope for better things. Pacem et Terris, peace on earth. Lumen Gentium, light of the nations. If you would like to submit a name for our family, email it to me, revjlb at O-L-O-H-S-C-S dot org, or address it to me and send it to Our Lady of Hope Parish, 28301 Little Mac, St. Clair Shores, Michigan, 48081. The deadline for accepting suggestions is September 30th, 2022. Thank you for your participation. Continue to pray for the victims of the virus, their families, and the first responders. 
We also pray for the people of Ukraine and other war-torn parts of our world. Pray that peaceful solutions may be found to end the conflicts. And I'd like to close, as I do each week, with a prayer for the sick, especially for those suffering from COVID-19. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, you are the everlasting health of those who believe in you. Hear us, O Lord, for those who are sick, for whom we ask the aid of your tender mercy, that being restored to bodily health, they may give thanks to you in your church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, God bless, and we'll chat next week.